Welcome back Poke fans to the playthrough of Pokemon Orange. So last episode we got two of our gym badges and the second one was to do with Team Neoplasma who apparently the bad like version of Team Plasma because Team Plasma are reformed now and they're working with Team Cypher. But yeah the second gym leader was working with them. We also met Mirror B as well. Had to battle like his army of Lombre. And um, yeah, after we got the second gym badge, we can now make our way to Orange Island and continue that way. So that's what we're going to do today. Jump on the ferry. Make sure it travels with us again. Yes, obviously this is an area that we've already been to. Just zoom all the way around or not into the cave encounters encounters obviously there's nothing here that we actually need oh yeah we also evolved our um regional tutor is it into dreadnought um that was pretty good actually it's got like all the green moss on its back obviously because it's now water grass type so I can't remember how far we got down here um, is this the area no this isn't the area that was blocked off oh yeah it was rock smash that was it and now we can head down to route six, what can we find here? A floating petal. To be fair, we don't need to lead off with thingy anymore. Oh, let's go Dreadnought. Obviously we can't level Riolu up, so there's no point really using it at the moment. Another floating petal. I'm not sure which way we're going. Oh, there's a cave there. So I suppose we could go that way. And a random Ultra Ball. I mean, it doesn't look like there's anything new on the route. wonder where you get the, um, oh, there's an item on that piece of land. Yeah, I wonder where you get the, um, the regional sandal. Well, except at the moment, I'm just browsing around. Yeah, Sizzlipede. Quite a high level, actually. Hello there, I'm going to throw bugs at you. I'm going to throw bugs at you, can there is, oh, and there is nothing you can do about it. I'm going to say, look, that didn't make any sense. Alright, Paras. To be fair, it has got a good point. Um, I'll go Dartrix. Poison powder doesn't affect me. I wonder why. Oh, Pluck. I was just thinking we need to get rid of Peck for something better. Um, Venipede, yeah, you can have the same fate. Yeah, but Poison Point does. Must just because it's a spore move, I don't know. Um, Dwebble, let's go Crabrawler. Go for a nice bubble beam. There we go. Nice and easy battle. Dizzy punch. My beautiful bugs. Right, um antidote. Get rid of that. See, I'm not sure which way we should be going. Oh, Karkov. Car. 
I'll take you off the XP. Oh my god, literally one. Not even a step of movement. So that brought me down there for no reason whatsoever. Well, I'm not going to go that way actually. I'm going to see what's in the cave. Hey, <laughs> it's us, the unstoppable trio. This time you won't get past us. That's because you're not actually letting me. Okay. Hello there, I'm going to throw bugs at you. The literal last person said the same thing. And that's the same Pokemon. Hmm, this is really, really weird. That's the same as well. Hmm, very, very weird. What's up, Chuckle Nuts? Chuckle Nuts? What's a Chuckle Nut? Never heard of that before. Geodude. Horn Leech. Give me all that HP back. Um, Voltorb. I'm too fair with Stain. And there we go. Close to level 25. That's not an entrance, is it? That's just... To be fair, it'd help if it wasn't like every one step. Yeah, it is in fact not an entrance. Hey there. Usually you battle someone when they cross your path, but I'm kind of lost. From home, which is pretty far away, so I don't know where everything is. I can help you out in fights if you can help. I'm also stocked up on healing items as well. Oh, great. He lives pretty deep in these woods. His name is Reginald. He usually runs the Forest City Gym, but he lives all the way out here. Okay. So everything's going to be double battles. Nobody to catch me this time. Let's see if I remember how to jump with no net. Got Merkur and Apon. Hmm, I'm just gonna horn leech Merkur, why not? No, we actually outsped it that time. Wasn't expecting that. Right, which way do we want to go? Okay, okay, Dino's right. I've been given a gift and it's time to use it. Hmm, what's your gift? Sweet bat and a gold bat. Right, neither of them are good for us. Um, let's go Zorua. Sui back gun. And we got poisoned. Not bad, not bad. Not far off as the rock now as well. Alright, let's go this way. The only way out of here is through me. I hope you're stupid enough to try. Alright, Crush Girl, Cramorant and Pidgeotto. So many flying types. I 
Oh, wow. Okay, we're definitely a physical attacker. There we go. Dreadnought's absolutely flying up the levels. Ooh, Diggersby. No, actually, I'm going to take you out. Why not? I'm so clever, and when I'm in love with how clever I am, my common sense goes right out the window. Well, I'm just backtracking to make sure that I'm not missing something. Ooh. That should have deleted Fletching, I don't even care what you say. Dreadnought just about left. Might not be a popular thought, but not everyone wants to be alive. That's a bit morbid, isn't it? Especially for a youngster. Right, I'll just horn leech you. Never stood a chance. This is easy battles. Okay, yes, we battled you. I'm almost 50% sure nothing could go wrong. Alright, last step. Glygar and Noibat. Yeah, that's it. Get rid of that one. Yep, Noibat got absolutely deleted then. Don't worry, I'm a detective. What are you investigating? Horniard and Sneasel. Oh. That's it, hit yourself, knock yourself out. Ooh, Impidim. Haven't used a Grimstar for a while. What's the random tent? And there's an absolute army of Ludicolo. Definitely mirror be around then. Right, let's go back to leading with you. Oh my god. The one thing I will say is the encounter rate is really high. Just a random building. Oh, it's Reginald. Ah, oh, greetings, Brendan. It has indeed been some time, and it was my heart sieve arrived, accompanied by a dear friend. Hey there, Reggie. I was looking for you in town. Ah, oh, the wicked machinations of Team Cypher prompted my return to this sacred relic stone. Speaking of that nefarious team, I detected a distinct aura emanating from your companion, young Brendan. Ray, may I inquire about the title of your personage? Ah, oh, so you go by the name of Pokiax. Delighted to make your acquaintance, indeed. As for that despicable aura enveloping you, it distinctly resonates with the presence of a shadow Pokemon. Given young Brendan's character, I'm inclined to dismiss any notion of his collaboration with Team Scythe as well as yours. You see, within the sacred precincts of the Relic Stone, a shadow Pokemon, if its heart is receptive, can undergo the process of purification. Whoa, shadow Pokemon, never heard of those. The situation arises primarily because shadow Pokemon tend to be a rarity beyond the confines of the RA region. 
Team Typhus influence is responsible for this circumstance as they intentionally shroud a Pokemon's heart in darkness, a malevolent process that inflicts great anguish, ultimately giving rise to a shadow Pokemon. Such deeds are both grievous and reprehensible. That sounds awful, if there are any way to help. Absolutely, you can use the Relic Stone yet, should you wish to gain entry to the hallowed grounds of the Relic Stone. A preliminary demonstration of your capabilities in order. Engage me in a friendly encounter, a battle of modest proportions, to prove your metal and intentions. Are you prepared? Oh. So now we battle a level 22 Pikachu. Yeah, get deleted. That was a very good fight. That was indeed an awe-inspiring clash of abilities. Your spirit appears untarnished, and as such, the gates of the Reddit Stone are flung wide open for your passage. However, there remains an essential step to undertake the awakening of your Pokémon's heart gauge. Accomplish this feat by enlisting their participation in battles, and should they enter hyper mode, reach out to them with soothing words. Furthermore, the simple act of strolling can facilitate this process. Best of fortune on your journey, dedicated trainer, and I eagerly anticipate our destined showdown within my gym. Hmm. Okay. So now, which way do we go? I'm still paralyzed. Could have healed me, couldn't it? Yeah, now the Ludicolo are gone. Gonna use that just in case. Yeah, Route 6 Crossroads. Forest City. Ah, uh, yeah, can't go that way. Let's see what we can find. I think it's the same. Same Pokemon. Yeah, Petalil and Wooloo are the first two, so definitely. Alright then, Forest City. I love the lake here. Reginald here likes to spend all his time in the forest. What's even out there? Plants? Who likes plants? I mean, you'd be surprised. What's going on here? Dude, don't interrupt me. I'm going for the high school in Elf Bowling. Rude. Right, it's obviously like some kind of kindergarten. Another random Ultra Ball. The sign doesn't even say anything. Yeah, there's a lot of emptiness. Like, we've come across a lot of buildings now that you can't even go in. Doors locked for now. Walking so long, I can see the benches. I just hate them. I sure I'm glad that I'm not the one unloading all those trucks. Uh, you're the sucker that has to unload them all. There's actually encounters in the city. Gligar. Wass. Hmm, Sunslash. What else can we find? We'll do three more. A pit of. Pretty sure that should have evolved by now. Alright, last one after this. Is a. Another sand slash. Right, um. So we've got the gym there. Got the mark. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else here. This would be a train like you, but then I took a spirit shackle to the knee. So far, Super Park's clothes are good. We got sued for copyright infringement. Hmm. That's another building that's... Another random ultra wall. Well, yeah, another building that's empty. Alright, um... Gym time then. If you're changing it, you must 
defeat me in a fight. Nothing can pierce my armor. Fierce attack. Precise. You pierce through the opponent's defenses. Evil blade strike. Oh. You just keep mashing buttons here. Okay, we've done it. That was a good fight. Reginald would like to see you now. And now the moment has gracefully arrived for a splendid rematch, my friend. So I'd like to share that my playful array extends beyond a solitary Pikachu to embark upon this delightful skirmish. Are you ready to partake in our jovial contest of skill? I stand before you as Jim Leader Reginald, the curator of captivating challenges. Prepare to be dazzled by the electrifying spectacle of my dynamic moves. Okay, so he's going to be using electric types then. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to stay. Is this a rain dance? Static. Hmm. I might have to survive. Of course, it still connects. Right, Dartrix. Shadow Sneak. Bolt and Razor Leaf. What we got next? The Leafy. Ah, hmm. oh, shiny Vicar Vault. That's not good. Flinch. Ah. Uh, all comes down to now whether Zoro outspeeds or not. While my resources may dwindle to a mere solitary Pokemon, I shan't surrender to the odds. Although, Vicavolt's slow as hell, yeah. It does look pretty cool, though, as a shiny. We we'll get a Zorok now as well. I must admit, I find myself pleasantly astonished victory belongs to you. Who expected a rain dancing Pikachu, though? There we go. Night Slash. To be honest, we're more of a special attacker, aren't we, sir? I extend my heartfelt gratitude for our spirited and electrifying encounter. As a token of this exhilarating belt, I now to present you with a remarkable gift, a technical machine containing the wondrous move known as Volt Switch. This dynamic technique empowers you to seamlessly switch your Pokemon while delivering a potent blow. Furthermore, as a symbol of your shared journey, I am thrilled to bestow upon you the prestigious shock badge. May it serve as a cherished memento of our vibrant jewel. For your next expedition, consider venturing towards the captivating realm of Big Water to the east. Rumour has it that Team Cypher's presence has been detected there. Take heed and stay vigilant, dear adventurer. Big Water. Ah, oh, okay. So head back down.
Right then, so I think what we'll do is we'll end it there, keep it keep it relatively short, and um, yeah, next episode we'll continue to big water and see what Team Cypher are up to. So thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.